when we talk about life we always consider it to be too fragile but we have learned from nature that it is that it isn't always the case for example we have found bacteria which can take huge amounts of radiation and they don't die let me give you an example dinococcus radiodurans can take 5000 grays gray is a unit of radiation energy so if you absorb 1 joule of radiation energy per 1 kg of matter that's one gray only 5 grays can kill a human being but this particular bacteria can take 5000 grays so basically 1000 times more than what a human can take so you can imagine that can we come up with a protective mechanism against radiation let's see if we can find some other examples thermus aquaticus this is a bacteria which loves to live at high temperatures around 80 degrees celsius uh, the picture in this particular diagram is of yellowstone park where this particular bacteria was identified now one scientist named carimulus thought of a ingenious experiment and what he did was that he applied one particular enzyme into a reaction known as polymerase chain reaction in this particular reaction you can amplify dna and ultimately he got nobel prize in 1994 for his particular work now where we do basically where we apply polymerase chain reaction in dna cloning in prenatal testing in pathogen identification genetic fingerprinting forensic investigation whatever molecular biology at the moment is happening in the world or microbiology polymerase chain reaction was the key stepping stone which particularly revolutionized this whole area um some of you might have seen those sort of shows uh, what we call um jerry springer show or sometimes like you know these late night shows um ab kisi ka koi yani ki especially west mein bahut zyada problem hai that you have a lot of children jinko pata nahi hota unke parents kaun hai to ab aap यानी कि पी सी आर इज इन्वॉल्व इन ईच एंड एवरी स्टेप ऑफ आइडेंटिफिकेशन कि आपके पास एक छोटा सा डीएनए का पीस हो आप उसको एम्पलीफाई कर लेते हैं इसी तरह फॉरेंसिक इन्वेस्टिगेशन में पहले अगर कोई मर्डर हो जाता था आपको क्राइम सीन बाजूकत बिल्कुल ब्लैंक मिलता था बट नाउ फ्रॉम अ स्मॉल पीस ऑफ ब्रोकन नेल फ्रॉम अ स्मॉल हेयर अल्टीमेटली यू कैन आइडेंटिफाई द क्रिमिनल लेट मी गिव यू अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एग्जाम्पल हेयर you all should see this particular movie named conviction where hilary swank uh, basically portrayed betty ann waters um betty ann's waters brother was convicted it's a true story uh, of first degree murder uh, she studied law and ultimately by that time when she finished she kept following her brother's case and what she found out was that after 18 years she was able to prove that her brother was framed after uh, after basically at that time there was no polymerase chain reaction but when polymerase chain reaction came they they were able to amplify the dna of the real murderer and basically that became the cause of the acquittal of her brother so since 1989 around 329 people in 37 us states have been exonerated through post conviction dna testing so these are the people jinko convict kar diya gaya tha jinko keh diya gaya tha ki ha aap logon ne ye crime kiya hai lekin ultimately with this pcr ultimately they were able to uh, let go so huge huge impact on the society but i want to show you a video where you can see that how polymerase chain reaction actually works so basically what you need to take is a sample that sample can be a piece of bone hair nail and uh, any bodily fluid and what you are after is a piece of dna which can identify you from other individuals 
So basically you target single nucleotide polymorphisms, but we will discuss those in detail later. So basically you take that particular target DNA and you make multiple copies of it using PCR. And ultimately uh, this particular technology has helped in forensics and also in research. Now to basically amplify DNA you need certain things and those are first of all a thermal cycler. It carries out the temperature cycles and then you need the obviously the piece of the target DNA. Alongside it you need primers. So what are primers? Primers basically bind to that particular piece of DNA and then extends it. So these are your custom designed stretches of DNA which basically ultimately mark the area which you need to amplify. And then you need nucleotides. So nucleotides are basically bases which we have already discussed adenine, guanine, cytosine and thymine. And then we need polymerase. So polymerase is that key enzyme which is now being taken from microorganisms at extremities. And, and this was the enzymes on which discovery or its use in uh, polymerase chain reaction got Karimoulis his Nobel Prize. Now you put them in an Eppendorf tube all together and then you place them in a thermocycler. Now what thermocycler does is that it heats it at a high temperature to basically break the hydrogen bonding between the double stranded DNA. So this is your target DNA shown in green here and then you give it a denaturation cycle at 95 degrees Celsius. Now what happens at 95 degrees Celsius that the hydrogen bonding between these two particular strands break. There is a formula to calculate melting temperature of all the DNAs. So melting temperature is when half of your DNA is, is melted or basically is converted into two, two independent strands. Now so here you see that denaturation is happening and the strands get separated and then DNA polymerase comes along. It will basically look for the primer where the primer is attached and then it will start adding. Okay, then you lower down the temperature so that primers can ultimately hydrogen bond to the target DNA and then polymerase will extend those primers in a three prime direction by adding free nucleotides and ultimately making two independent strands. So what you are watching in cycle one here is that one particular strand gets converted into two strands. Now you convert those two strands into four strands in cycle two. In this way it's a very exponential technique that keeps on adding nucleotides and ultimately giving you huge amount of DNA. And once you have huge amount of DNA you can use it for various purposes. So you can see it goes on and on that now we are at cycle 3. But let me tell you one thing that there will be some strands which will not be completed as, as you see in this particular case. But ultimately you give a long elongation cycle at the end. So, so now you can see that in cycle 4 you have 8 copies of target DNA and 8 variable length DNA fragments. But as usually you give around 30 cycles and in those 30 cycles the number of copies of the target DNA increases from 1 to 1 billion. So this is amazing. Only in 4 hours you can obtain from one DNA molecule up to 1 billion copies of that particular piece of DNA. So basically after that you just take your sample out and you can go for further analysis. Actually these are the people who created this particular very nice animation. So basically in this way from one strand you can get one billion copies of DNA 
and and from the all walks of life you would see like as we go along in this uh, in this journey together that pcr basically comes into every aspect of molecular biology